welcome to my new video fashion week is coming up very soon and today i'm going to show you some behind the scenes and tell you a little story time i've done many fashion weeks and i have many many interesting stories and many many funny experiences and i filmed a few shows that i did last season in milan so i've decided to make a video where i show you the footage and tell you a little behind story i thought that this video was very interesting to make because i want to tell you the real story about fashion week what really goes on behind the scenes because I think on social media it's very glamorized and it's very far from that how I would describe it is that it's very fun but at the same time very exhausting I always get so excited before fashion week but when it's actually happening I'm so over it the only thing that I actually enjoy is walking on a catwalk and doing the show but that's literally maybe just 30 minutes of the whole fashion week and every single model spends so many hours and travel and castings and fittings and all these things running around the world just to be on a catwalk for maybe 20 seconds if you want me to make a video about like funny stories from castings and just my experiences because i have many i can make a separate video but in this video i will specifically talk about milan fashion week that was last september so the first show i did last season was for the brand called jenny i did many many fashion weeks with them i absolutely love the brand i honestly have the greatest experience with the people that work for the brand each season many of the models they've booked are the same girls that have been doing these shows for them for many years which is great because twice a year we're basically getting gathering just to do the show and enjoy it and have fun. This day when it was a Jenny show, I had another show that I had to rush to right after my first show and that happens often. That models get booked for multiple shows and they basically have to run from one part of the city to another and during fashion week, the city is so busy and it's a total nightmare to get from one place to another. But now I'm going to show you a little bit of behind the scenes. <music> show I did it was for the brand called Ante Prima it was right after Jenny and they were literally just waiting for me and three other girls that did the Jenny show to arrive to do our makeup and hair luckily the hairstyle was exactly the same like the first show we did so they didn't have to do much even the makeup was very similar instead of I don't know having um, yellow eyeshadow they put blue eyeshadow or something like that but when i arrived i saw the casting director and he was like maria come here and i'm just like rushing and he was like i'm sorry i'm late and he was like it's all right it's all right we have time and i think the show was late anyways so when i arrived there everyone was already dressed and had makeup and hair done and everyone was standing in the line to go because this show was very different and unique how they did it and how we walked the catwalk so basically everyone was in the line and waiting to get on a bus so we get on a bus like public transport bus that was just for us of course and we were wearing robes on top of our clothes so no one sees the actual designs before the show we were just walking on the street to get to the bus all of us i don't know how many of us was there but like all of us getting on a bus the bus was driving us to the venue where we were doing the catwalk i show you the clips here so you can see how the catwalk looked like and yeah basically i arrived and they were just doing my hair and makeup really fast um there was so Super nice they were giving me food to eat because I didn't really have breakfast that morning because I was getting ready for the first show and then rushing to the second one they gave me coffee they were like it's all fine relaxing they were not like panicking and how you would imagine backstage looks like it does look chaotic sometimes for certain shows but for this one it was fine it was very calm so I got my hair and makeup done I got dressed I got my robe on and then we all went to the bus and did the show I didn't film anything because you can imagine I just didn't have time i basically i was just all over the place i was trying to make it and be on time and just look presentable and do the show oh and one more thing i forgot every single time you do a show you need to have a rehearsal because every catwalk is different and sometimes they decide to do something more complicated and it's not just a regular catwalk you go up and down and that's it they basically explain to all models we all rehearse it we go down the catwalk we do the whole thing a couple of times and then everyone is set and ready for the show so no one messes up and everyone knows what they're doing but of course because i 
I wasn't there on time because I had that first show, I didn't know what was going on. And they didn't have the rehearsal because the catwalk was very unique. We were getting on a bus and then from the bus we were getting on the catwalk. They basically drew out the whole catwalk and they were explaining to girls on paper how they need to walk or go around certain things, how they get off the bus. There were like certain groups of girls that were getting out. So for example, first five designs go first. After 10 seconds, there's a second group of girls that comes out. It's like five, six of them. But we got on the bus and I'm just like turning around and trying to ask someone what was going on. And luckily I see my friend, so she was explaining to me what to do. And then I found one of the girls that was actually part of the production team and I asked her to explain it to me because I didn't know what was going on because we were also lining up in the bus because everyone had to come up at a certain time. So basically she was just explaining to me on the bus on our way there and that was like maybe two minute ride. So it was just like, so it was so chaotic. The show was great, I really enjoyed it. I think it was very unique and different. After the show, I had a casting that I had to go to and that happens a lot, by the way. Like you do one show, two shows, maybe sometimes even three shows and then afterwards you have a fitting or you have a casting for another show that's in the next few days. It's just like all day long you have things and everything is last minute, literally like you finish one casting and they update your schedule and say, oh, you need to be at that place, which is like so far away on the other end of the city. So you need to be ready any time of the day to go to a fitting, to go to a casting, to have a change of schedule. And by the way, sometimes we don't get our schedules for the next day until 10, 11 p.m. So even if I'm tired and I woke up at 5 a.m., I cannot go to sleep because I don't know what's happening the next day. And if I need to be up early, do I have fittings, do I have castings? There's always something, but you know, you just need to mentally prepare for the next day and be well rested and look presentable. So the next show I did was for Giorgio Armani. So basically Armani has two shows each season, which is Giorgio Armani and Foro Armani. They have a huge casting each season and I'm not even kidding. There's hundreds and hundreds of girls that come to this casting. I actually have the video of the queue for the casting. I think I waited for two hours to get in and just to walk for three seconds for them to see them, the whole designer team. And then you just basically get out and then wait for a couple of days to be called for the fitting. And even if you go to the fitting, it doesn't mean you're doing the show. Like until they confirmed you're booked for the show and you get your call time for the show, you still don't know if you got the show or not. So it's a very nerve wracking experience. And I did work for the brand before. I didn't do Giorgio Armani, but I did Emporio Armani show and I went through the whole same process. So I was kind of already mentally prepared for the whole thing. But I must say their casting is no fun at all. Usually castings are not that long. Most of the castings are request casting. So that means they have smaller group of girls coming to the castings and much faster. Okay, sometimes you maybe wait for an hour, but you're not literally waiting outside in a queue to get in and be there for 30 seconds. So that was the casting and then a couple of days later, they called me in for the fitting of course I was very excited but I wasn't getting too excited because I was like what if I do the fitting and they don't confirm me because that happens a lot so I was like whatever I'm just gonna go I'll try on some clothes and then we'll see what happens whenever you go to the fittings uh, Giorgio Armani is there he's doing the fitting he's styling everything their fittings are quite long as well because they call in maybe 10 girls and everyone's dressing at the same time and they need to style each person for the show take the photo put it on the board so many times it happens that I would try on something that some other girl tried on that day and her photo is on the wall and they take off that photo of her and they put my photo which means in most cases that girl will not be confirmed for the show because they put me on the wall but I still don't know if someone else is gonna come in after and try on the same outfit and they're gonna take me off the wall and put someone else for the show so that's why I say I don't get too excited because they do that a lot and they change the girls change the mood board last minute as much as the fitting and casting was a bit exhausting I I really love working for Giorgio Armani. Um, the show is always incredible. His designs are just exceptional, very unique. Uh, always beautiful, beautiful, elegant clothes. I did film behind the scenes, so now I'm gonna show you how the backstage look like. Now 
going to tell you the story about the fourth show I did for Elisabetta Franchi. Of course, the show was on the same day as Armani's show. We had very little time and the main problem was that my hair had so much gel in it from Armani's show. It was like all slicked back, it was hard as a rock and they had to wash my hair so they can do um, my hairstyle for the second show that day which was for Elisabetta Franchi. So I was rushing to my second show and I see in the distance there's another girl that's like running and I see her bag because after Armani show we got some gifts we got like a tote bag obviously she has the same hairstyle and everything and I'm guessing she's either going to a fitting casting or she's going to the same show because we were going in the same direction so she sees me as well and we're like trying to communicate and I asked her are you going to the Elizabeth and Frankie show she said yes so we started going there together as we arrived to the gate there's a casting director and he's like we need to run we need to rush let's go to the bathroom we need to wash your hair so we're all running with hairstylists to the bathroom so they can wash our hair they put our head in the sink which is a totally normal thing for fashion week. It happened to me twice last fashion week. <laughs> so they put your head in the sink. Usually there's no hot water, so it's cold water. So they're rushing, trying to wash your hair, being quick as possible, trying to get the gel out because there was so much. They washed our hair finally. Then we were running to the tent where it was backstage and there was literally, I think, five hairstylists and two makeup artists trying to do my hair and makeup. I wish I filmed this, but it was so funny. And to be honest, they're always trying to be gentle it's very rare you have a hairstylist or makeup artist that's just rubbing your skin and like pulling your hair it did happen to me a few times but this time wasn't the case so they were drying my hair doing my makeup at the same time as I said there was a couple of girls that arrived as well that did a Ronnie show and then did Elizabeth the Frankie show I didn't have time to eat or drink any coffee the only time I ate that day was in the morning and after the last show I did honestly when you're rushing so much and you're in this whole chaos you don't even think about food you are maybe hungry at certain moments Moments, but then you just forget about it because there's adrenaline there's so many things going on so they finally did my hair and makeup I went to backstage as I got dressed the show started so I didn't have time to like rest or do anything else I had to be dressed and put in the queue for the show there wasn't a lot of girls that did the show so I think everyone almost everyone had two looks for the show I do have some clips from backstage that I filmed with my phone I'll try to put in in the video I was one of the first girls in the queue so basically they just styled me while I was in the queue and the whole time by the way in backstage the photographers are there and they're taking a bunch of photos so there's like five photographers and they say like oh can you stand next to this girl and because the two designs go so well together so they want to take a photo there's another one like can you please turn around can you like pose do something different and they take photos of the accessories take photo of the details like you just like have so many people around you everyone's doing their job and everyone's trying to like give their best for this to be the most successful show ever but it's just so so chaotic if i haven't done fashion week so many times i think this would be very confusing for me but thankfully i know how to behave in these situations how to keep calm and how to do my job right honestly the show was so amazing i enjoyed every second of it i enjoyed walking the runway the music for the show was amazing the style was just incredible i think this is one of my favorite collection of theirs they always do an amazing amazing job the casting director the whole team is just so amazing so nice so kind they always make us feel just the best and I just had a great experience and I actually really enjoyed it it felt more like I'm going to the party than I'm doing my job so basically the show ended like this everything was over and then I got to relax but I was so happy that day was just amazing first the Armani show then Elizabeth Frankie show I had a good fashion week I had fun and the best thing ever is that every single evening all of my friends and i gather we go to a restaurant of course we don't stay up late and we don't do crazy things if we have something the next day but we just love to sit down for dinner just relax because everyone had a busy day everyone had either shows or castings or fittings was running around milan and yeah it's just a nice feeling when you gather with your friends and you tell each other funny stories from that day so yeah that was my story time about fashion week i hope you enjoyed this video i hope i didn't talk too much i feel like many people don't know about these great things that we get to do as models and how much fun we have and of course we go through certain struggles and bad times and not every day is perfect and not everything goes well we put in a lot of effort and energy into our careers but the reward you get for all this hard work is just incredible and it's one-time life experience like share subscribe and i'll see you in my next video